What's up guys, uh, Ryan here, and this is going to be a video on how to make double tissue origami paper uh, using MC or methyl cellulose glue. So this is going to be a comprehensive guide. I'm going to I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Um, first off, what you will need to do this. Um, I'll, first I'll tell you what you need and then what you probably definitely should have. So what you need, you're going to need one, probably the most important thing, uh, this, pure methyl cellulose. I will, in the description, I will link, I will give you guys a link for everything you need to buy. So, link will be in the description for this. But yeah, pure methyl cellulose, it's like a book binder type thing. It's used to, it's not glue, it's, it's used to like combine paper and stuff. So it's perfect for this. I actually don't know what it's for. <laughs> for book binding, paper repair, and art framing. Anyway, uh, another thing you'll need is a brush. Um, you could use, if you have just a paintbrush or something laying around, use that. I bought, I picked these up for like a dollar, 72 cents I think at Lowe's. Um, it's foam. It's not like a brush, but the foam works really well in my opinion. Um, another thing you'll need is um, an X-Acto knife. Hopefully you have a better one than this. This is just what I have laying around. Um, this is to make the square. You're going to need... This is the this is the actual glue, the finished product, but that's not why I'm showing you this. You're going to need a clear bottle that seals, okay? Um, this is to mix it and it, also to store it. But you want it to be clear so you know when it's done... So you know when it's like... Uh, completely dissolved. Two more things. Um, you're going to, well, three more things. You're going to need tissue, tissue paper, but um, specifically tissue paper that is water resistant, waterproof, not proof, but you'll, you'll know, well, when you start, you'll, you'll immediately find out if you have the right tissue paper or not, because it'll be ripping or not ripping. Um, but it's kind of, glossy it's not like plastic but it's you can tell you can tell it's waterproof but again i will there's going to be a link in the description on exactly what to buy oh that works for me that uh, that i'm using two more things um you're going to need a glass pane a, like a sheet of glass or a mirror or i mean i don't know just something that the methyl cellulose won't stick to but just go to Lowe's and get a $15 sheet of glass. It's not that hard. Um, again, links in the description on where to get that stuff. And finally, a it's, this isn't in the picture, but you're, you're going to want a... I mean, you don't need this, but you probably... you, you sh This is something you should have. Let's start... Yeah, let's start that list. Uh, the things you should probably have. Um, a cutting mat or a cutting board or whatever. This is again to make the square on. You couldn't. You can cut directly on the glass because your knife is probably not as hard as the glass. But I'd highly recommend a cutting board. Um, another thing you should have is duct tape to surround your pane of glass with because the edges can be really sharp. Um, but again, you don't need that. Some other things you should have a tube. So I don't actually have this, but you should have it. Um, it's a basically a cardboard tube that you roll the tissue paper up with and then instead of what I'm going to do which is just laying it down you can actually roll the tissue the tissue paper onto the glass sheet um, but I don't have one because then that, that's why it's on the uh, you should have it list but not the need list um, also something you should have is some paper towels <laughs> to you'll see why multiple reasons but what else um that's it that that's it so that's the should have list and the need list um let's let's get started so so in this video i'm going to be i'm personally going to be making a 60 centimeter or two foot paper using four sheets of tissue of tissue paper if you only if you're fine with a uh 30 centimeter piece of paper all you have to do, literally all you have to do, is lay 
one sheet down and then another sheet on top. Okay, so I'm not gonna be doing this. This is why I'm explaining it. If you only want one sheet, so if you, if you want a paper this big, it's glass, glue, tissue, tissue paper, glue, tissue paper. That's all you have to do. The first step, if you've done it before, you're gonna wanna clean the glass off, but I've already done that. And I'm assuming this is your first time, so you probably won't have to clean the glass off. But anyway, the first step is to, the first step is to create the methyl cellulose, which I almost forgot to talk about. So, um, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna put 500 milliliters ml milliliters of water two cups about 500 milliliters of water in your container then you're going to want to take three teaspoons tsp not tablespoons teaspoons three teaspoons of methyl cellulose and dump it and pour it into this then you're going to want to mix it this is, this is the longest, this is going to take a really long time, but it'll last a while. You're going to want to mix the um, concoction. I don't know. You're going to want to mix the methyl cellulose water in your bottle um, until it's fully dissolved. And you'll know when it's fully dissolved because it's a clear bottle. But you'll know, you'll know if you did it right, if when you like shake it, the bubbles kind of like stay in the middle. They don't like, uh, they don't bubble up to the top. And that's because, that's because it's not water. It's, it's thicker than water. So the bubbles are going to be staying. You'll also know if you did it right, when you pour it, it doesn't like spread really fast. It kind of just sits in a puddle. Um, but yeah, so that's how you make the methyl cellulose glue. I'm not going to be doing that because I, I mean, I already did it, and I explained it perfectly right here. You'll probably, the bubbles take a really long time to go away, so you'll most likely definitely need to let it sit, let it sit overnight. Um, um, another tip is to, is to only put like a, t uh, only put like a teaspoon in, then mix it, get that dissolved, then put another teaspoon in, mix that, get that dissolved, then put a third teaspoon in, and dissolve that but however you do it three teaspoons 500 milliliters of water you'll get this um and you'll be able to make this paper so let's actually do it now let's make the paper um i'm actually re-recording this part because and i'm going to use different color paper that's not the reason though because i i realized there's a better way to do the um 60 centimeter the yeah the 60 centimeter piece and I will show you that. And as, and also I found a tube. So before I did, uh, I didn't actually use a tube, but now I can. So anyway, um, oh, and the, the, the way I'm going to do it. So the way I did it before, I don't know if I already said this, but I laid two pieces portrait and then the top two I laid, I laid landscape. And that was to, um, minimize the overlap I only want the paper to be two tissue paper, two papers thick, right? But because you have to overlap them, it was slightly thicker in some places. But the better way that I realized was to just have all four sheets portrait. And the first two just go, just go wherever. And then you have the overlap down the middle. And the second two, you just shift them over a little bit. So the overlap is to the right of of the um, original overlap. So that way the, the thickest part is going to be three sheets. Um, and you get, you get more paper out of it. But anyway, let's, let's get started. So first I'm going to um, pour the methyl cellulose down. You can always add more, but it's very hard, very hard to put it back in the bottle once you, once you pour it out. So anyway, um, the goal, the goal with this is to just a really thin layer everywhere that the tissue paper is going to be. Um, it's really easy to get off the glass, so like to clean. So don't don't be afraid to uh, to paint the glue past where you're putting the paper. 
Now, again, I'm not sure if I already said this, but if you're only doing one, if you're only doing a single sheet on the bottom and a single sheet on the top, then all you have to do is lay a sheet down and then lay a sheet on top of it. There's no, you don't have to worry about overlaps or anything. Um, I'm going to place, I'm going to do a little more, just a little more. There we go. Spread that out. Um, so the idea is you want to do glass, then glue, then a layer of paper, then glue, then another layer of paper. Um, so I'm just, I'm just doing, I'm just painting like this. There's really, you can paint it on however you want, but I'm just doing this so I, so I know I have everywhere covered because I think it's kind of hard to see with the glass. Um, but anyway, so that should be really good. Now I'm going to lay the first piece on. So the tissue paper, mine, it should be water resistant. Um, and if it is, one side will be like glossier than the other side. And I'm going to just, whatever you do, make sure the glossy sides, make sure all the paper are like facing the same way. So if one sheet has a glossy side down, the other sheet should have the glossy side down. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all the glossy sides, all four sheets down. So let's do this. Um, I'm going to place the first one right now. And all you need to do is, is roll it out. Um, it is so much easier if you have, if you have a, if you have a tube. I would really, really recommend getting one. Um, th that's like, that tube isn't even as wide as the tissue paper, obviously. Um, but it's still... It still worked. Um, so the top here is folded a little, which is annoying, but there you go. I fixed it. Uh, you're not going to, unless you like literally try to rip this, you're not, you're not going to rip it. So if feel free to like pick it up and shift it around and stuff, you're, you're really, it's, you, you'll be hard pressed to, to actually, to actually rip this. But as you can see, when like when you roll it, there's almost like no bubbles. the The only bubbles that actually form are are uh, are the bubbles from like the creases from the original folding of the tissue paper. So I would highly, highly recommend getting a tube. You don't need one technically, but like you really, it, you would be uh, you would have a hard time without it. Um, I'm just going to, I'm just, now I'm going to, I'm now I'm going to roll the other sheet on this and really make sure that the orientation is the same. So glossy side down for me. Uh, I know this is off camera, but. Not much I can do about that. I'm just I'm just rolling the tissue paper onto the tube. Um, the tighter it's rolled on, the better, definitely. Here we go. All right, it's all rolled on. Now I'm going to really quickly just I'm going to put some put some glue over the seam. Just like that. Okay, and now I'm going to just roll it on. Make sure, make sure you have like I'd say about a half inch to an inch of overlap. And so my sheet of glass isn't big enough. So the left side of this tissue paper is going to is just going to be off the glass, and that's completely okay.
go. Now we can just unroll it. Yeah, it's it's completely okay. I um, a larger piece of glass would have been ideal, but it's not a big deal at all. Okay, I so now so you see this uh, crease. You can just literally lift up the entire sheet and just pull it out. Um, that crease was, again, I already said this, but it was from the original folding of the tissue paper. Now, the tissue paper expands when it gets wet, right? So that's why that's why you see um, this happening. So I'm just going to try to flatten it so it doesn't, like, unpeel itself or whatever. There we go. All right, that's better. So I'm just making sure this, um, the overlap is, is properly pushed down. It's really, um, it, you, you can touch the glue. It, it's not sticky or anything at all. I don't even think it's proper to call it glue, but anyway. Okay, that's looking really, really good. That's looking really good. But yeah, so I would highly recommend getting getting a tube like this. It's this is just a paper towel tube. Um, in fact, I wouldn't yeah I wouldn't do this unless you had a tube like this. But anyway, so now we can place the second layer. So what I'm going to do with the second layer is I'm I'm going to place them the same way, glossy side down, um, colors non glossy side up, and both in portrait orientation but i'm going to i'm going to shift the overlap so it's right here okay um you you really do not want the overlap to be right on top of the other one because that'll be four layers thick when your paper when the rest of the paper is two layers thick and uh that's not what you want but now i'm going to just i'm going to pour the pour some glue on a little bit over here a little bit over here here we go. Again, you can always you can always uh, put it on, but you really can't take it off very easily. So now I'm just gonna spread it around. Might have to add more. Let's see. Oops. Yep, I gotta add more on the edges. Just a little bit though. There we go. That should be good. Uh, it's okay. It's okay to paint the glue like off the edge, like I'm doing right now. You're not gonna like glue it to the glue it to the glass or anything. So I'm making sure to get everywhere. Oops. Yeah. Def. Try not to paint against uh, the overlap like that. All right. Just make sure you get everywhere. It's, it's really important that because it won't properly bind if you don't. There we go. All right, cool. So now I'm going to place the next two sheets. Wow. 
bossy side down once again. Okay, and now I'm gonna unroll it. So this is really important where where we unroll it. I'm gonna do the left side first this time. So basically I want this side, I want this edge to be so, not here, not here right over top, somewhere like here. So, or okay, this edge, yeah. So right like here. Aligned it a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to unroll it. So that one didn't go as smooth, but like it's completely okay because we can just smooth it out with our hands. If you have a if you have a sturdier tube you most likely won't have this problem. Um, the, the paper, I think I already said this, but I'll say it again. The paper will, it, it will stretch. It will, it will stretch when you, um, when you get it wet but it's okay. So I'm gonna make sure I get the bubbles out. You can use a paper towel. If you don't wanna to touch the glue, you can use a paper towel for this, but again, it's pretty much just like water. All right, this is looking pretty good. It's really important that there's no air bubbles. Right. Especially on the bottom sheet. This is the top sheet, though. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to roll up the second sheet, or the, the last sheet, the final sheet. Hopefully I can do a better job than the last one. I think I pressed too hard. Okay, so... So if you can see this, I'm not sure if you can, but this is where... Um, this is where the right side of the overlap of the bottom two are, is. So, oh, um, yeah, so, so we, we really don't... You don't want this fourth sheet to be to the left of this. Um, don't forget to put glue on top of the seam, or uh, on top of like where the overlap's gonna be, because you really, you really want this to be sturdy. You really want it to stick. All right, there we go. So now I can unroll this sheet. You can do it right, you can do it right there. All right, that's a lot better. Look at that, perfect. Flattening it, making sure this uh, this overlap is glued down. Perfect. Ah, 
now I'm just getting the air bubbles down. There, some are going to be created because, again, the paper's expanding. Um, it's unavoidable. All right. So if you do this method, you're going to be able to make a really big square, but then you'll have paper left over and you can make some little squares too. Um, the overlaps will be facing the same way and they will be right down the middle, but that's okay. So no glue on top. This is, this is, this is all you need to do. Um, once, once you've gotten all the air bubbles out, I would rec I personally, um, just put a fan on it and then And then just wait. Um, it goes a lot quicker when you have a fan on it. So, yeah. So I'm just going to I'm going to leave my I'm going to leave my fan on, blowing right at it, and it should dry in like two to three hours, compared to like six or seven if you don't have a fan. But anyway, I'll be back when this is dry. Okay, guys, she is dry, and now we're going to pull her off. So, um. If, if you only have two sheets, I have four sheets right now. If you only have two sheets, all you have to do is grab a corner and pull. Pull very carefully. If, if it starts to rip, if it starts to stick, grab your, uh, grab your blade and just unstick it. Uh, the, the blade should be duller than, than your, your glass. So you're not going to scratch the glass. Um, I can easily just start pulling this corner. Actually, I want to pull. I want to start from this corner because um, the bottom layer you want to pull the side which is under the other side. So I remember placing this one second. So this one, this side, the second, the bottom layer is underneath this side. So I want to pull this side first. Um, so I'm just gonna get that corner up and just pull it. Um, there's really no special technique for this. You just want to pull slowly. And, and be really careful around this area. But... There we go. Alright, now I can easily just pull the rest. Um, you want to go slowly because if it starts to stick, you want to be able to just stop immediately. Okay. And just pull the rest off. There we go. Look at that. Um, so as you see, you can see where the overlaps are right here and here. Um, notice how they're not on top of each other. That would be bad. So this, this way, if you do it this way, as opposed to the way I originally did it, which was two portrait on the bottom and two landscape on the top, you, you have a lot, you, you don't waste very much tissue paper. The only tissue paper you're wasting is this little strip right here and this little strip right here. Cause you can't use it cause it's just single, single layer and well. There's no glue on it, um, but yeah. So if, if you do if you do this technique, you're gonna get an awesome sheet of paper. Now the only thing left is to make it a square. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I finally managed to make a square, um, and this is how it this is how it turned out. So this is the back. This is the glossy part, the shiny part. That this was the part that was against the glass. And this is the front, and it looks really, really good. It looks better in person, but you can still kind of see just like how nice it is. I, uh, I, I love this. I love this technique. It's the the paper that um, it makes is really, really nice. You see, you see the two, the the two places that overlaps is right here, but it's um, it doesn't really affect it at all. It's just one extra layer. So yeah, guys, I hope you were able to, I, I hope you're able to 
make this paper. I hope the tutorial helps. Um, you're really you're really able to make nice origami paper and really complex models with with this paper without having to spend a lot of money on high quality tissue paper or or even just like origamito paper or whatever. But yeah, guys, I'm I'm I really hope this helped. I'm glad I'm glad I can make this and let me know if it did help. Let me know in the comments if it did help. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.